Michelouspointpicadred.org. I'm here with my Portuguese friends from Kick, who are uh, very disappointed after having lost to Nip in the semi-finals. So, where to begin? At first, let's talk about CS:GO. Um, your your team is a mix of 1.6 players and CSS players. How are you all finding the game, honestly? Uh, I'm kind of loving the game. Uh... I didn't like much 1.6, Source was my game, but after try um, the new game, uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, I love the game because it's really fast, the game like COD, and I just love it. Uh, the games are much intense, very, very fast, and I believe uh, in the next year there will be great competitions and uh, the players from 1.6 and the Source community there are many haters that are still saying that 1.6 should continue, yeah. uh, but I believe next year people will start and see that CSGO is the future. Um, what do you think? I mean, can you uh, give us some insight into what some of your 1.6 uh, friends think of it? Well, I think at the moment we have the, the best Portuguese team with the, the best Definitely. mixture from Source and 1.6. We have the Fox guy, is, uh, is a beast in 1.6, Moot as well. And the insider came back, he's old school, he, he played in 2002 and 2003, WCG, ESWC, so I think we have a good mixture and with training, we have a lot of potential to do well. And do they like the game then, uh, the 1.6s? Because everyone's going to want to know what Fox thinks of it, and I was hoping to get him in here and ask him, but you'll have to tell me, you know, what he thinks. He, he likes the game, he loves the game, otherwise he won't be playing, but he likes it. Well, that's good. Uh, what did you make of playing Nip? I, I know for you guys personally, you must have felt quite pleased to be playing against Get Right, Forest. You know, you were playing with a smile on your face. Um, but what do you think of them as a team? I mean, did, we, did you guys play bad or did they play amazing? Uh, they are a very good team, as everyone know. Um, we, we knew we had some chance in some maps. Um, Dust 2 and Inferno were two of them, but they vetoed Dust 2, so Inferno was the one left. We played uh, really nice, the Inferno map, but we lost some important rounds, we lost three Ecos. Um, we spoke to each other and we, we knew that we are a recent team, so they would probably have some mistakes. And, well, we are disappointed with the, with the game on Inferno, but we're not disappointed with our place because it's our first line as a team. Yep. We didn't have much practice, uh, so we, I believe that next tournament, that will be probably PGS, we're going to show everybody that we can compete with the top, te with top teams and win. What did you think of the way the tournament was run? Uh, there was a lot of people saying it's been you know, poorly organised, uh, there's been delays, and of course there's no third and fourth place playoff. So, uh, yeah, I know. So, uh, what, what do you make of all that? Group A was delayed, uh, but Group B went smoothly. We went here at 11, so we were supposed to play, play at 11, and we started right away. So, I think in the first day there were some problems, but the next day they fixed it. Well, about the third and the fourth place, that's a bit disappointing since we wanted to beat X6 to yeah. be the yeah. best Siberian team. So, but well, I can say I know we are the best, but we yeah. are. On we wanted to show that, but they don't want to do the third, fourth match. So, did they? I mean, did they say why they didn't want to do it? Because the third, fourth playoff, it just seems like such a sensible thing to do. I know the prize is the same, but yeah. it's more for the prestige. prestige. Yeah, I know. But we cannot do anything. It's from the organization. They have to do it. So. A shame. Um, so let's talk about Kick then, uh, because you know you've merged, I say, some great 1.6 players, some great CSS players. The organisation's back, looking very strong in a new game. Um, how have they been supporting you? And, and uh, what, apart from PGS, do you have plans to get back into big European events? Because we've seen you guys at uh, events like that in the past. Uh, yeah, we're thinking in doing that. Maybe I series. Mm -hmm. um, for now, we will just focus in the PGS. We'll try to see if there is any qualifier for ESWC, because mm -hmm. Portugal have the license for ESWC, but uh, I doubt they, they were going to do a, a qualifier like yeah. they did la, last, last year. year yeah. um, there will be slap too, but we know that it's really expensive to Denmark. Mm -hmm. We'll try to see that. Uh, apart from that, I'm not sure if there is a good line to go. We're, pro we're going to have Excel Party at the end of the year. Um, 
and well, we just have to wait to see which which upcoming lands are. Are there any lands that you would, uh, I mean, you've, you've hallmarked and said I would really, really, really want to go to that one? Well, real and not yes, the will see, but we don't have qualifiers, so maybe North Cone will be, will be good, but it's in the same data as XL Party, so we'll go to XL Party. But we would love to go WCG and the big tournaments. Yeah. Like. So, what, what, what do you make of uh, DreamHack Valencia? Uh, I, I noticed that, you know, for me, the CSGO tournament, it was great to have a CSGO yes. tournament here, but when you look at the attention that League of Legends is getting, the attention that StarCraft 2 is getting, do uh, FPS players ever feel a little, a little bit jealous? I think so. We need to start growing together. We have a lot of separate communities like COD, Battlefield, 1.6, Source. We need to, to unite and be strong as, as them. So they support the game, they love the game, and we don't. Some guys love, some not, some play, but they don't love the game. We need to, to be like one, just one, and if you do so, we have a, a real strong community. I mean, I know you play loads of games, because you're always asking me on Steam for beta keys and stuff, so what about, what about League of Legends? Do you ever think about just quitting uh, Counter-Strike? No, no, definitely not, but uh, I really love League of Legends, like other games, like back in the days, uh, Call of Duty 4 was really nice. Uh, but I will keep, for, for now, I will keep uh, at the end of the year. I'm, I'm still not sure how my future will be in the gaming. I know that I, I'll start working uh, in, the, uh, in the next year, in the beginning. So I'll probably quit gaming, but let's see how it goes. For now, I'm just foc focusing in this year and we'll do our best to, to show that Portuguese can really do something in this game. He's joining the police. He's a yeah, oh, don't police say man. that! <laughs> Whoa, why did you say that? Police man. Damn. Yeah, really? I'm going, yeah. Well, when's that happening? Uh, probably in Febr February. Uh, I, still, I will have a formation of nine months and then I'll join the force. Well, congratulations yeah, on that. I'll be careful what I say around yeah, you yeah. from now on. Uh, I want to ask as well a bit about the whole Fox situation because you know, like what people say, like all the Portuguese guys really, really fanboy him hard. I saw on Fragbite, Neo was saying he's the most overrated player of all time, which I think is harsh, but you know, he, I don't think he meant it in a bad way. He just meant, you know, he, yeah, you know how it is. Neo's a nice guy, but. Uh, where do you guys stand now that you've played with him? I mean, is he really, really, really as good as what people say? Or where would you put him? I think p people, Portuguese fanboys, put him the best of the world. Well, he's not the best, but I think he's one of the best, really, one of the best. In 1.6 he was a beast, but they, don't, they didn't have conditions to play, they, didn't have, they couldn't practice with the European teams because yeah. of the ping. But now it's a different game and he can show he's really one of the best players. He's a, he's a beast. For sure. Yeah, I, I, I agree with him. Um, it's like he said, Portuguese community, uh, I mean, Portugal itself didn't have the conditions to compete with, with the, other, the other countries, but in this game, we all have that, that conditions. I mean, when they start playing CSGO, we were playing against foreign teams and they had like 16, 60 ping and they were say, fuck, we cannot play here, we have a lot of ping. But, well, okay, they now know can, they can play, so. Um, yeah, well look, mate, I want to ask you, uh, just final question, I've been asking all the CSGO teams this. Uh, if you could make one change to CSGO, like that, click your finger and it's fixed or it's different, what would you change? Uh, I need to P90. think. P90, yeah, that's right, right. for sure. It's overpowered, that weapon. I mean, the, the money, when you kill someone, it's really a lot. And it, the weapon itself, it's really good. Even in the, in the fourth round, when you, you lose the pistol, uh, or, or I mean, when you win the pistol in the fourth round, it's a really good weapon to, yeah. to keep. So they, they really need to, to, to put P90 a little less powerful. Uh, the money system. And the money, the money system, system, I think. What well, you tell me about the money system? Well, the SMGs, when you kill one, you, you, not, you gain 900. It's, it's ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense to control the money. Since yeah. You win the pistol, you win the, the two Ecos, we have a lot, lot of money. So it's All about the bison. Uh, all right, and then just quickly, uh, who's going to win uh, between Nip? I know you're going to obviously have to say Nip, because then you lost to the winners. But, uh, we lost to very game yeah. two in the group. Oh, that, that's true, right? So, yeah. Con, you played them both then, so who's yeah, going to win? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, we played very games in Mirage, so it's hard for us to tell mm. if they are really playing 
really good. I believe they are. Um, but I would like to have the chance to play against them in a, a map that we feel at least comfortable. Um, both teams are, are very good. Everyone knows that. At, at this moment, I would say that NIP are, that since they have 1.6 players, the, since the change is the best team from 1.6, yeah. and very games from Source. Um, so it will be a nice challenge. But in the, at the end of the day, <laughs> I think that both teams have their strongs. For example, I think NIP, if they play Mirage, mm -hmm. they'll have an advantage in very games. But there are some maps that in very games they maybe can win against, against uh, NIP. I think maybe Nuke they can they can probably win, uh, but let's see which maps they're going to play. It's very important. Uh, Vito will be very, really important in this game. I like it. Very diplomatic. Who do you think? Very game is gonna win. <laughs> there we go. Say, okay, say that. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's what you were supposed to say. Yeah, no, okay. I, I think very game as well. But I think for sure it's gonna be a great final. I'm, yeah, I'm really looking yeah, forward yeah. to it. So I know you guys are gonna stick around and watch it. So hopefully see you there. And thanks a lot for the interview. To all of you out there, Carred.org, do stay tuned to our website. We're going to have more coverage, more interviews, uh, just like this one, uh, from here, DreamHack Valencia 2012.